In spring 2017, the way the government funds apprenticeships in England is changing. This is part of the government's drive to train 3 million new apprentices by 2020. But what does this mean for you? As you may have heard, on the 6th of April 2017, an apprenticeship levy is being introduced to businesses that have a pay bill of £3 million or over. This means that they'll have to spend 0.5% of their total pay bill to help fund this huge training goal. This video will take you through some of the key points that might help you get to grips with all these changes. When a business pays the levy, they receive the money that they've paid in the form of vouchers in a digital account. This is where employers can make transactions and manage their apprenticeship levy funds. This ensures that the money is there to be spent on training apprentices, but there are also financial benefits to using the digital accounts. For example, the government will top up 10% of your total levy. The funds, or vouchers, in the digital accounts will expire after 24 months, so businesses should use them whilst they can. Employers will need to negotiate the price of the training and assessment. The government will pay 80% of the negotiated price on a monthly basis, and the remaining 20% of each month's cost will be paid at the end of the apprenticeship. If a business does not pay the levy, or a levy-paying business wants to invest more than what's in their digital account, a 10% co-investment between the business and the government is required. This means that the government will fund 90% of the extra investment. However, employers with less than 50 employees will not need to make the co-investment for 16 to 18-year-old apprentices, as the government will pay 100% of the funding band and they will also receive a £1,000 top-up from the government via the provider. If an employer agrees with a provider that English or math training is required for an apprentice, the provider is able to claim a flat rate of £471 per subject from the government to deliver the extra qualification. Providers can also claim an additional £150 per month for each apprentice that requires learning support. From May 2017, levied employers will be able to choose their providers from the new Register of Apprenticeship Training Providers. Providers will only need to join the register if they want to deliver over £100,000 worth of training a year. However, they are still able to apply if they deliver less than that and want to have the flexibility to deliver a larger volume of training or just to be safe in the knowledge that their organisation has met the requirements of the register. There are three ways for providers to apply to the register to suit a variety of different requirements. Learn more about them here. In order to be eligible for the register, Providers must be above a Grade 4 inadequate rating for their apprenticeship provision. If they have a Grade 4 overall, but a higher grade for apprenticeship provision, they may still be eligible to join the register. The new register is open four times a year for applications, so providers should keep an eye on the gov.uk website for when they can apply. To ensure standards are maintained and changes are accounted for, each provider will need to reapply every year. This will only consist of a refresh of information rather than a whole new application. At Active IQ, we want to do our best to ensure that these changes are as easy and smooth as possible for everyone involved.